Hi everybody and welcome back. This is Mindy for Neat and Tangled and in today's video I'm going to be showing you another way you can color up the Grateful Heart stamp set that was released in the August 2019 release and we are going to be using Arteza watercolors. So this is the Grateful Heart stamp set. I'm going to be doing some heat embossing as I think that is one of the easier ways to do some watercoloring. So I'm laying out all of the images onto some watercolor cardstock, and you can see my stamp set is very well loved, but still stamps perfectly. I'll prep my watercolor cardstock with an anti-static powder tool, and then I'll be using the Gina K Designs Embossing Ink. So using my Misty tool to stamp the images, I'll ink up the images really well, stamp that down, and because this is watercolor cardstock, I am going to stamp this twice. Watercolor cardstock is typically textured, so I like to do the stamping twice just to make sure I have a really nice impression uh, of those stamps with the embossing ink. Then I'm going to take the Hero Arts Gold Glitter Embossing Powder, and this is such a beautiful embossing powder. Uh, it's a really nice bright gold, but it also has like a glittery sparkle to it. So I thought it was just a really nice fun touch to add to our image. So I sprinkle that on all over my images. And then once my heat tool is nice and hot, I start out by heating the back of my cardstock and then bringing it around to the front to melt that embossing powder. And there is a close up of that beautiful glittery embossing powder. Now I'll start watercoloring my image. I do leave a little bit of the section in real time to show you what I'm doing. And then honestly, a lot of this is sped up because it's pretty repetitive. Uh, but for the most part right here, I'll start out in real time. So I have two water brushes that I'll be using. This first one here, I think is a Prima watercolor brush. Honestly, not sure. There are a couple of them I have in my stash that I uh, just accumulated. I liked the thicker brush on that one. And I started out by wetting an area of my image. The nice thing about having an embossed image is that embossing line kind of contains our water so it shouldn't overflow unless you put down too much water. But for the most part, it should be contained in that area. So I wet the area first and then I picked up my other water brush here. This is a, a smaller tip, a thinner tip. I wet it, I picked up some color from my Arteza watercolor set. This is actually the 36 half pan set. I laid a little bit of the color down right at the very bottom of the area. And then I had taken that other water brush that I have and dragged the color out. So it should be more intense towards the bottom. And then as it gets out towards the edges of the petal, it'll be lighter. That is my intention. Uh, water coloring is actually pretty fun and it's really interesting to see how the water moves or the paint moves with the water. So I continue that same process through all of the petals. I'm keeping the darker area uh, pretty much where the petal starts in the middle of the flower and then works its way out. No matter how the petals are, whatever is on the outside edge is what I want to keep the lightest. I will continue water coloring this way throughout the rest of the flowers that are on this. Uh, just start, starting with laying down a layer of water first, just a little bit, not a lot, just enough to wet the area, dropping in some color, and then pulling that color out with that second brush. Now you can certainly use a regular paintbrush, um, anything you may have or that you're comfortable with. I just happen to really like the way the brushes were on these watercolor brushes. One thing I did notice is that after these had dried, the color did dry back a lot lighter than what you're seeing here. So when you look at the pictures, you may notice that those colors are very light. You could certainly go back in and color it again. Here is just a close up look of how that is looking and I really love the look of this. This is something I've been practicing a lot off screen. Um, it did take some time before I felt comfortable enough to put it, put it in a video, but I really did enjoy the process. As far as how long it took me, uh, I really am not sure because 
I did this over the course of a day, kind of in between just some housework. I'd stop. I'd do a little bit of watercoloring. Uh, because I have the images embossed, I could just work in small sections. And that was really helpful. So I'll continue to color these flowers. I left all of that water coloring in, so I'm just going to pop on some music for you. So if you want to watch me finish that process, you can certainly do so. If you want to jump ahead to where I start finishing off the card, you can head on over to 658 in the video. Once I had finished coloring in all of my images, I did let this sit and dry for a little while really well. And then I used the coordinating die for the Grateful Heart stamp set to die cut these images out. And then I'll set off on the side to work on the background for my card. I wanted to keep the focus on the flowers, so I'm just going to create a really simple background. Here I'm just using a piece of Nina Solar White cardstock. And I'm taking some Hero Arts Glimmer Metallic Ink. Now this is kind of thick, so I am adding a little bit of water there. And using my paintbrush and an acrylic block, I'm just going to put flicks of this color onto the background. That I thought would just help really bring out the gold glitter embossing powder a little bit. Help kind of coordinate those colors so you can see there's a really beautiful shine to that. And then to also pull in the red a little bit, I did put a little bit of water down on my mat and I'm picking up some of the color that I used for my flower and I'm flicking that onto the background as well and that just helps tie everything together. Once that background is dry I'm going to start completing my card so off screen I did go ahead and stamp and heat emboss a sentiment also from the Grateful Heart stamp set. I did that on pitch black cardstock and I heat embossed in just a regular gold embossing powder. Then once I had everything lined up where I wanted it to on my card, I'm taking the images that are furthest and back, just attaching those with some liquid glue. And then my largest image, I used Gina K Designs foam squares and attaching that onto my card front. I did have some of the leaves overhanging on the edge, which I will go ahead and trim off here shortly. To attach the sentiment, I just added a couple of the foam squares and a little bit of that liquid glue because that's where it's overlapping my image. And then once my sides are trimmed down, that will finish off the card. And then we'll take one more closer look at the water coloring and that gold glitter embossing powder. So this actually is a pretty easy technique to do. Very therapeutic. I love the look of it. If you wanted to have that to be brighter, I would definitely suggest adding another layer of color to this. So I hope you enjoyed taking a look at another way you can use the Grateful Heart stamp set. All of the supplies will be listed down below in the video description and over on the blog as well. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you would like to see more videos and inspiration. Thanks again for stopping by and I'll see you next time.